This is a great example of a question that needs to be done in stages. And generally speaking, when you see a question that needs to be done in stages, it's useful to draw a table to help you figure out how the stages affect one another. And that's exactly what we'll be doing in this question. Let's get started. When a certain tree was first planted, it was four feet tall. And the height of the tree increased by a constant amount each year for the next six years. At the end of the sixth year, the tree was one-fifth taller than it was at the end of the fourth year. By how many feet did the height of the tree increase each year? So when I say draw a table, what I mean is to do something like this. So I'm going to say, okay, we know that in year zero, the height was four feet. Then in year one, that's going to be four plus X, some amount that we don't know, feet. In year two, that's going to be four plus two X, etc. And whatever this number is, it's going to be that times X. So basically we can say the end of the sixth year is going to be four plus six X. So that means the end of the fourth year, that's gonna be four plus four X. We're told here at the end of the sixth year, the tree was one fifth taller than at the end of the fourth year. So the fourth year, that's gonna be this, four plus four X. And then the sixth year, we know that's gonna be one fifth more. So that's basically six over five times. So basically we're told in the sixth year that it's going to be four plus six X. And that has to be equal to one fifth more than the fourth year. So that's six over five times the fourth year, which is four plus four X. The next step here, I would get rid of this fraction of the five on the bottom. I just multiply everything by five, both sides that is. So take this, multiply it by five as well. So that's gonna be 20 plus 30 X is equal to six times four plus four X, just to get rid of the fraction as quickly as possible. 24 plus 24x equals 20 plus 30x. 6x is 4, x is 4 over 6 or 2 over 3. The amount we're looking for is the height that the tree increased each year, which is of course our x, and our x we find is 2 thirds of a foot. So the answer is D. If you like this video, if you found it useful, the best way to support the channel is to click the like or subscribe on YouTube. And if you're interested, we have a free 52 page rates guide. So if you can check the link that's just underneath the video, that's in the text box. And you can also find some of our other videos if you click in the top right hand corner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.